Hang on. it's time it is finally time to do a real review on the electric eel wheel 6.0 which is what I have new wheels are coming out that doesn't mean that this one won't still be available and I mean new wheels with um, dreaming robots who makes this wheel so I am gonna talk about it I made a pros and cons list there's probably more feel free to ask questions I've had like real time to spin on it try it out use it I was shocked how many of you guys bought it when I um, unboxed it and I was like I'll do a full review after I've had time to use it and so many of you were like I'm getting one I was shocked not gonna lie I've got it right here on my table I'm gonna move you to it and we're going to talk pros and cons. So I'm going to spin a little bit on this during. I know someone will ask me, this is the new winter solstice blend in my shop. I designed it. It has green, black, um, a couple shades of green because the solstice celebration. It's all about um, how celebrating that dark never overwhelms light forever and neither does light overwhelm dark forever and also the return of the light to nature so i made it green and it's got some white bamboo in it and it's shades of green and there is black also because we know that the dark and the light have to both be present right i love this one and i'm going to spin it while we chat i also got the candy cane blend it will be available in the shop as of actually yesterday by the time you guys see this so if you don't know about the unboxing what comes with it how to set it up Go ahead and watch the video I'll link below. That is my unboxing where I set up the wheel. Um, <laughs> I had trouble getting the drive band on, but now that I kind of know the trick, I will show you guys what the trick is because I just put a fresh bobbin on here anyway, so that works out perfectly. And I guess I'm gonna focus you down and we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons as I see them. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna start talking about the pros because I kind of feel like there are more pros honestly with this wheel you get a it could be a foot pedal let's call it a controller to turn it on and off you get your power cord and you get your um bobbins i think you got six bobbins i'm sure you got six bobbins i thought that was a lot it comes with the drive band it comes with the brake band i have had to replace the brake band because it did wear through and that was fine so just so you guys know lori wellborn recommended to me that i use paracord for a brake band so i braided john opened up a piece of paracord for me i braided three strands and i put it back and just went ahead and replaced that drive band after it drifted apart. I mean, that's normal. Brake bands don't last forever anyway. So that isn't a pro or a con. It's just a thing. Oh, also, we gotta talk about this. Okay. Early on, I didn't wasn't sure at first, but I got a bad motor. And these are warranted for 100 days. So I did contact them after I showed it to John because I wasn't sure at first I was like is it me am I doing something wrong do I have something not connected right and so he kind of like turned things on and off and made sure everything was connected correctly and everything and he was like no you're not wrong something isn't right so I did contact um, Maurice at Dreaming Robots and he sent me it was within the warranty period and he sent me what the parts that he thought it could be that caused that. I made him a short video. I put it on YouTube private because we've talked about this before, but I feel like something can always go wrong and it's really about the way a business handles that over whether or not everything goes perfectly and smooth and everything like that. So in my opinion, he handled it absolutely perfectly. He got back to me. He watched the video. He sent me what I needed immediately with no problems. And that's what good customer service is about, in my opinion. He was 100% helpful. Like, he did it. He took care of it. I had to replace the motor. And because I know some of you guys are, like, afraid to do that kind of stuff, John and I sat down. But I did the entire process myself because 
I'm not as mechanically inclined as he is and people always say like, well, I don't have a John to do this stuff for me. And so he sat with me while I did it because, you know, it's be stupid if I didn't at least keep his expertise close. But I wanted to show you guys that you can do this and you can. It is so easy. We filmed it and that will be coming out sometime next week, kind of like as a bonus video because I want you to see that you do not need expertise to fix these. And in my opinion, that is like a huge, huge pro because <laughs> Things can go wrong. Like, even if you're transporting it around, you know, something could get damaged, something could get hurt if you're carrying it around with you. And the fact that you can buy a replacement part and you can fix it yourself is so much better than having to like package it up, send it out, you know, wait for it, have it come back. This is so much better. So that is a huge pro for me. He handled it great. So great customer service is a pro. Those are some of the pros. Um, they're pretty important in my opinion. So another pro again, is that it comes with six bobbins. That is more than I think anything comes with that I know of. And it's really handy if you wanna like work on multiple projects or you wanna do a bunch of different plies or whatever, it's super nice for that. That is a big pro in my opinion, because new bobbins or extra bobbins can also be quite pricey from some of the, oh, wait a minute, from some of the different manufacturers of wheels. I did learn, hang on, let me get a good view on this. I did learn an, a better way to put on the bands. You just put it in the correct groove on your flyer and then I hold it with my left hand. I hook my finger into the band with my right hand, actually my thumb, and I just use it to guide it around the drive wheel. So it's really easy now that I know how to do it. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I added is, as I said, the drive band, but also I purchased a battery for it to make it more portable. It goes in the base and it has an on, a, on and off switch on the back of the battery right there so that you can just carry it with you and um, it makes it so easy. I literally have this little table on my treadmill for, I bought it for editing while I was walking on the treadmill, but I found it really hard to do because I'm trying to like cut in a specific place and everything's moving just a little bit. I can put this up on that table and walk on the treadmill and spin with it and it's so portable. It's just super, super handy that way. I did it yesterday. But then you also do get the cable for the battery that is available. You just have to purchase the battery. It lasts a really long time. I can spend a very long time with it. And I have heard that you can run a Nano and a Eel off it at the same time. I don't think I've seen it done, but I've heard that you can. Everything else has been, is original and has been great. Also, there is a magnet on the side to hold your orifice hook. I don't have the one that came with it right with me, but um, it just goes like right here. Oh, I didn't turn my power on. Okay, let's spin for a second. Okay. Replacing the brake band was quite simple. I had to remove this knob. There's a screw inside, so you just hold the screw and unscrew the knob and like with a screwdriver and then put the brake band back on the knob and reattach it. It's quite easy to do. And I didn't even need instructions for that, which is kind of nice. So let's just start and we'll see how this looks. I got my speed up really high. Hang on, let me turn my speed down because I was plying. So I find that is another pro in my opinion is that this there is so much speed available to you when you use this wheel. Um, the, the variation in the speed that you can use is just very, very wide, the wide, wide range. So I think that's really cool that wide variety of speed is just really, really helpful when you wanna spin all different kinds of yarns and you have a bigger bobbin and a bigger orifice so you can spin all different kinds of yarns. So I really, really do like that. You can see it's also quite quiet.
the last pro that I think is really noteworthy, and this is a huge one, is price. I just gotta tell you guys <laughs> that I have been asked a lot to compare it to the Hansen, and I will tell you that there are maybe a few things that I like about the Hansen a little bit more, and we'll talk about that in the cons. But for the price, I think that this is a more worthy purchase, if that makes sense, because the price is like, I want to say it's like six times as much for the Hansen, and do I think it's six times better? No. Do I think it's even twice as good? Sorry, no. I'm going to show you this wool really quick, and then we're going to talk about cons. Look how pretty. Look at that. So pretty. That's like a frosty woodland dream is what that is. <laughs> So you can see it spins very quietly and it spins great, beautifully, smoothly. Everything about it, I really like. And I'm actually a little bit surprised at how much I love this wheel. But let's talk cons because everything has some and especially with a price point like that, you almost have to expect a few cons, right? So let's talk about them. The 100 day warranty I think is a con. I understand it. I totally get why that's in place, but I also think, you know, if you are somebody who wants a whole year warranty, it's something that you need to be aware of, right? 100 days is not very long, especially like if you don't have tons of time to open it and use it, or you don't feel brave enough to open it and use it immediately, that 100 days is gonna go by real fast. The only other con, well, there's kind of, these are kind of related. So the only other con that I have, and maybe it's me, so I'm hoping somebody can maybe tell me like that there's a way around this, is that when I pick it up, often the bottom unlocks itself immediately. So I'm thinking that I wish that the bottom, I'm wishing that the bottom locked to it. Maybe that's just me. I wonder if anyone else even cares about that. I mean, it does click into place, but the second that you bump it, touch it, anything, it unclicks and then you can lift it up and it's like half attached. And I move it a lot. I pack it up, I move it. And there is one more thing I'm gonna show you guys at the end that kind of goes along with it that I think a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love that. Those are like my two cons. The only other thing I have is that it's so light that sometimes when I apply, I like a lot of tension and it's so light um, that I move it <laughs> while I, because I like a lot of tension. So it's fighting against itself and it wants to draw towards me just because it doesn't weigh very much. There are ways that you can weight it down. That's just one more thing that you have to do. So it's like a slight con, but it's really not a big one. Okay, let me show you the other thing, hang on. And I talked about this in a live, I think maybe six or eight weeks ago, but I'm gonna show it to you because it's awesome. Besides the battery, there's only one thing that I have purchased to go with this wheel. Um, there are some really cool things you can buy like an add-on, but I haven't bought any of them. I bought <laughs> from Amazon and I will link it below. This knitting backpack, it's called, they call it a knitter's backpack or a knitting backpack. They call it that because like there's holes here if you wanna keep your yarn inside and run it to the outside for taking things different places. There are a million pockets and I mean a million. And also one of the other things that makes it a knitter's backpack is that this part opens up and it has, um, the elastic things for needles and hooks and all that kind of stuff. So that's really cool. I think we love that kind of stuff, don't we? Where we can organize our junk. So the way I've used it for the wheel is that all the power parts go in this front and I know you're probably like, oh my gosh, Trish, why? This is the charger for my battery. And then this is the power cord for the wheel right in the front. And then inside, there is also a back mesh pocket if you want to keep your projects in there. I mean, this thing is really cool. Or it'd be a good place to keep your wool and it does zip. So the way the top of this opens is non-traditional backpack. So it opens 
and it stays open like this as you sit there. It's kind of handy if you, well, really for any of this. There are pockets and more elastic straps on the inside, okay? And I can put all the bobbins in the bottom. See how this fits in there just right? So nice. And then you can just take the whole wheel and set it right inside. So you can carry it like this, or you can carry it like a traditional backpack. It is so nice and handy. So when I'm not using it, I do store it in here. And if I wanted to go to the local yarn store and spin or a friend's house or wherever and spin, I can just grab it, put it in the car and it's ready to go. Whatever spinning project is on this wheel just goes right in the top and boom, I'm gone. And I have everything I need. There's an orifice hook stored in here. And then there's a toothbrush because you know I like to use a toothbrush to find my end if it gets lost. It's super awesome and handy and it's a little bit padded, you can see so that's a little bit more safety too. I love this backpack. And I love to be able to tidy it up, just set it somewhere else and not have it be looking like it's one more thing on, you know, one more bit of visual chaos in my already chaotic studio. So the final verdict for me is that I love this wheel and I have actually applied and been accepted to become an affiliate because I love this wheel. I would not do that if I did not think it was a really great option for spinners, especially if your budget is more limited, this is like a great, great option. I don't wanna represent a company that I don't necessarily think takes good care of their customers, but I feel good about this. I actually think it is a great thing that I had a wheel problem, a real slash wheel problem, because I got to see what customer service is like. I got to see how he will help you if something goes wrong. I got to see all of it. And I will tell you too that I know some of you, I know one of you for sure is afraid to replace the motor on her wheel. It is not hard. And John gave me a little bit of advice while I was doing it that will help you. So in a couple days, I'm gonna throw that video up. I just need to get it edited. Also, if you have one, please do put your experience below, positive or negative. Know that I appreciate you and I do try to look out for you the best I can. I want you to know that watching what you all make in the Facebook group and wherever I see it, like sometimes people all over the place. I mean, I get emails, just all kinds of stuff. That is the current highlight of my business. I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I hope you guys are having a great holiday season, winter if you're in this hem hemisphere, a uh, great summer if you're in the other hemisphere, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks, I love you, bye.